Welcome back SQL enthusiasts. I'm Himavant and in this chapter 3 of Star Agile's exclusive SQL learning series, we'll be discussing about the reinstallation of MySQL workbench. If you have missed any of the previous videos, please do click on the link above. If you are someone looking to master SQL and earn a professional certification, you can go through our DevOps course link which is attached in the description. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so so that you don't miss any of the upcoming episodes. So now we'll look into the reinstallation of MySQL Workbench and the server. Okay, so generally to install it will follow a certain process to install it. But what happens when you are trying to reinstall it normally? Let's say how basically we'll uninstall we'll go to the apps in our laptop or we'll go to the control panel in our laptop and we'll simply will uninstall this mysql workbench or the server and we'll try to reinstall it okay what what happens generally when you try to reinstall only by deleting or uninstalling the software so at the time of reinstallation it will ask for the old password again so what is the software you installed and uh, when you delete it before at the initially when you are installing you'll create a password right so that particular password if you are forgetting okay but when you try to reinstall it by simply uninstalling this workbench and server and trying to reinstall or click on installation again for that it will ask for the old password for you okay but that is not the case for us okay so as i forgot my old password i am trying to reinstalling it okay so for that if it asks for the old password again how i can i can't do it again uh, reinstallation cannot be proceeded further without entering a password right so in these cases what are the steps we need to follow to reinstall this mysql workbench or the server we'll see now okay so first what we need to do is first thing first we need to go to the control panel and first initially we need to uninstall so that is the basic step we need to do first okay so what we'll do we'll go to control panel and once we go to the control panel and install a program now in this first uninstall them okay so you have this mysql workbench mysql server and mysql installer right so these three are enough okay not this mysql connector this is a different case which is for the connecting to the different servers for that or different tools though that is not required for us only workbench server and installer we need to remove so for what this is all just for the reinstallation so if in case if you are forgetting your password and for the reinstallation you need to do this first uninstall it okay so it will take certain time okay so it will take certain time for the uninstallation over there okay Mm, I think it might take a certain time. So, uh, now it is finishing. Yeah, and also, guys, one more uh, issue what you can face at this point is if you are trying to uninstall it, and if in case if it is saying that try again later, try to restart. Try to restart or uh, reboot your laptop, and then after a certain time, after some time, then do it. okay don't again uh, sequentially or parallelly don't do it next again so wait for a certain time and then uninstall and reinstall it okay so now first i uninstall the mysql workbench now mysql server uninstall yes and here if it is asking do you want this app to make any changes in your device so kindly click on yes case So here, what we want to do, we want to uninstall. So for that, you want to uh, make this app change, do any changes means yes. So kindly click on yes. Okay, once you click on yes, it will start uninstalling this MySQL server for you. Yeah, so let's wait for a certain time. What it can take. So 
so it all depends on uh, the configuration guys okay so uh, why it is taking too much time or uh, for few friends let's say me and my friend are doing the same uh, but for my friend it is taking uh, very less time within seconds it finished and for me why it is taking too much time it all depends on the configurations of the laptops guys so maybe a few laptops might be of uh, 8 gb rom or few my laptops might be of 16 gb rom okay it all depends on that okay so how how fast uh, your uh, laptop is the, it, it all depends on any of this configurations or executions or uninstalling how much time it all depends on that okay so for me also it is taking a certain time to uninstall it and once this uninstallation is completed then the server okay so as previously we uninstalled the mysql workbench now i am uninstalling this mysql server so it's still taking certain time for me yes see now it is completed so mysql server is also uninstalled now i'll uninstall this mysql server installer also why because i want to start everything from the new okay everything from the starting i want to do so right click uninstall yes and every time anytime if you are getting an option do you want this app to do cha any changes on your device means kindly click on yes case okay so once it is completed now i uninstall so i successfully uninstall the workbench server and the mysql installer from my control panel so once this is completed now close it so then there is no use of this control panel for me now i'll close this now what we need to do mainly is so this is the basic thing everyone know okay but what main points we need to understand to enter or to create a new password is first open your pc means uh, my computer okay my pc or this pc you will have right so open it and here in local disk okay in local disk c or windows c open that so once you open windows c initially first you will see only certain files case so how it will be represented or shown for use so this is how it will show generally okay so generally you will not find you will not have any hidden folders to be shown initially but do you need to also see the hidden folders here to delete certain folders or certain files here so why to delete certain files here is this is the point where it will be storing the password what you have created previously okay so if you are not deleting the files with this windows c then you cannot create a new password for mysql guys okay so for that reason we need to delete the folders here so for that first thing what you need to do is make sure you enable or you show this hidden items also so click on this view and show hidden items so once they are shown now see now here in the program file so where and all you need to delete the folders is program files and program files into 86 and also in the program data so these are the three folders in which you need to search for a any file which is related to mysql and you need to delete that file or that particular folder itself okay so then only you can create a new password for the mysql workbench or the server what you are reinstalling so i'll open this program files Uh, so I'll just refresh and I'll check show more options refresh yeah see I have this mysql okay so delete this so I'll delete this folder right click delete yeah. so now it is deleted go back now for just in case cross check in program files into 86 also so cross check in program files into 86 I'll refresh my folders so yeah so as of now i don't have anything mysql folder in this program files into 86 now go back now here cross check in program data also okay now in program data you have this see mysql so delete this folder so once you delete the folder here then till now the process is completed to delete everything which is related to mysql in your laptop 
So what and all we have done? We have uninstalled the MySQL workbench and we have uninstalled the MySQL server and we have uninstalled the MySQL installer. So where from the control panel we have done this. Once this is completed, then we came to the local disk C, basically Windows C. Okay, so we open Windows C. Within that, first open once first enable the hidden items also to be shown. Once you enable it, then what you need to do? Then you need to delete the folders in program files, program files in 286 and also in the program data. So mainly in these three folders, if you find any folder, any file which is naming MySQL, delete that. Okay, so delete that folder in these three particular folders. Once it is done, then you can start the installation of MySQL again. Okay, you can re reinstall this MySQL with a new password again. So then you can follow the same process. So go to So here, open your browser and what you can do, search for MySQL installer for Windows. Okay, so in your Google search engine, search for MySQL installer for Windows and open the same and download it 2.1 MB. If you already have that installer in your laptop, you can open the same. Okay, or else you can download it from here. What you need to do, you need to search for MySQL installer for Windows and then click on the first link and then click on download here for the 2.1 MB then no thanks just start my download open this means click on that and the installer will be downloaded once the installer is downloaded open it when you are opening you will get an option like do you want this or uh, do you want this uh, app to make changes in your device so kindly click on yes guys so do you want to allow this app to make changes in your device so kindly click on yes once you click on yes then the installer will start again so now everything is from the new so i can click on custom and i can click on next now in the available products mysql server i'll be installing the 8.0.39 version not 40 i'm not installing the 40 i'm installing the 8.0.39 version how select it and click on right arrow minimize again expand applications here now expand mysql workbench and expand mysql workbench 8.0 okay, so what and all we are downloading and installing we want the server and also the workbench these are the two softwares which we need to download and install case now i am selecting 8.0.38 now once after you select, so how I am able to make it come to the products to be installed? I am selecting. So you need to click. You need to click on this MySQL Workbench 8.0.38 and then you need to click on this right arrow. So this 4.0, there is some sort of uh, problem or uh, some issue with the connection of the server. That is why we are installing this one version lesser, 8.0.39 and 3.8. Okay, then once you select it, then you, I'm clicking on this green arrow in the middle of the screen. So once it is done, in the products to be installed, I have MySQL server and also have MySQL workbench. So once these two are completed, then click on next and execute. See, once, you once after I click on execute, see, these two are getting downloaded. So if in case if you get any error, Okay, so like MySQL server, it gave an error for me. What I need to do? Simply, I'll go back and again click on next again. Okay, so what I did, I simply uh, clicked on back. Now again, no need to do any changes here. Just click on next again. So now click on execute. See, now it is getting downloaded successfully. So now once it is downloaded, now click on next. Now these two are downloaded. Now they are ready for the installation. Click on execute. So now they are installing in my laptop.
so everything will be the same process guys okay so how you are installing newly okay so now at the time of reinstallation also will follow the same process okay it's not like anything new here the same process but simply we are trying to create the password new again so for that reason we need to follow all the previous steps once this is completed now i'll click on next 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 and here the password also very basic no need of any strong passwords for us okay we are installing the server in our laptop itself so select the second option click on next and create the password see now you can able to create a new password for yourself enter the password and repeat the password once it is done and kindly don't bother about the password strength here click on next and every other process is the all default options next next execute yeah so once it is completed click on finish next and finish see now once it is done automatically by default it will open initial now you can see right welcome to mysql workbench and you can click on this local instance here and enter the password and click on ok so now this is how you will see the interface okay so this is the process what you need to follow for the reinstallation of mysql server and workbench case okay and one thing you need to understand here whenever you are reinstalling is so the databases in case if you have created any databases those particular databases and the data within the table and also the tables or any stored procedures anything anything if you have created uh, previously everything will be lost why because we are reinstalling right so when you are reinstalling the database will be recreated so what we are doing we are recreating the database again and the database means basically the server within a server you will have the databases over here and basically we are recreating the server so that is why what and all you have done in the database over there everything will be lost so if you are saving a file file you can find it okay what and all the commands you have written and saved that particular file you can find that particular file but databases will be removed okay everything you need to recreate them again okay so this is the reinstallation of mysql workbench and the server case that's wrap for this chapter guys so let's meet in next episode for this sql series